At the beginning of the year, a change was proposed by the makers of RuneScape to make the Dragon Warhammer a 60 strength weapon instead of a 60 attack weapon. This would be insane. My account has 95 strength, but only 41 combat, so I could crush anybody near my combat level if this change was accepted by the community. With the most to gain out of this update, what do you think I said? Yes, bring it on. Let me be the most overpowered account in the game to destroy everything. <laughs> Uh, no, not this time. Instead, I wrote Jagex an essay about why it would be way too overpowered, and there should be a different compromise. But it didn't matter because me and the people that agreed with me got outvoted by the rest of the community. So now I look like a good guy for giving them my honest feedback, and the update that makes me way too overpowered is still coming to the game. It's a win-win. I must say my thanks. With the update, I can now go from an ineffectual beta cuck to a gigachad pog daddy. If you're one of the people that asked for this, you decided the fate of this account. So here I am, trying to overcome one of the last remaining obstacles, acquiring the Dragon Warhammer at just 41 combat on this From Scratch account. You're fired. 58 construction, see you at 60. And that's 60 construction. All right, the first time here with the rune crossbow, which means I have an all-time high level of accuracy with the cannon. Going for that dragon warhammer, so hopefully I can get it before 2,100 kills, which is when I get that combat level that I do not want. And 251st Lizardman Shaman kill Earth Battle Staff. And that marks 64 range, the final range level for this combat level. So as soon as I get 65, yeah, I'll have to have 42 combat. But definitely worth it if I can get my hands on the Dragon Warhammer. But if I get supremely lucky and get it before 65 range, I will be a very happy man. Oh my god, bro. Longbone for the construction XP. Very funny, Jagax. Rune Warhammer. Of course, of course. They like to tease the noobs. They like to tease the noobs. Hey, beautiful Xerix Talisman. Many more Lizardman things for me, which means lots more teleports to Zaya. And I'm very close to 65 range, so this will be my 400th Lizardman Shaman kill for an Earth Battle Staff. And the question is, can I get the hammer on the first kill of the day? Let's go. Oh, and that is the final cannonball. Just one more to go until 65 range. Wow. Alrighty then. Yeah, I can't really use any of the last four items there, but 65 range, five levels away from Black Dragon Hide, and I've advanced a new combat level, 42 combat now. Combat levels are my enemy. The more Lizardmen Shamans I kill, the more my combat level grows, and makes me less powerful if I get the hammer. Out of all the luck I could ever hope for on RuneScape, this is the time where it matters most. Getting the Dragon Warhammer soon means that I get to stay a very low combat level. Unfortunately, after hundreds more Shaman kills, I got 66 range as well. I saw a Warhammer. I got excited. I got so excited. Oh no. Look at that. 67 range. If I get another range level, I'm pretty sure that condemns me to getting attack in the future. Because it won't raise my combat if I do, so... Okie dokie then. Wait, I'm already level 43 combat? What? That's mad. Damn, bro. I need this hammer, bro! I need it! 68 range it, and 63,000 to 69. I have done many, many inventories of the shaman loots, but yeah, I'm making a lot of money here. Look at all that cash, damn. And then from 713 kills in the last two days, I've gotten just about 4.68 mil GP, if you count all the other stuff, but like, alkables, all that is probably still worth like 3.5 mil or something, so that is amazing. Unfortunately, this will be the last run though, as I am almost out of cannonballs, only 405 left. That'll probably only be about 35 kills. Yikes. And that is the final shaman that I can kill. Unfortunately, no dragon warhammer from another 735 kills I've done, uh, which means in total I've done 985 kills, almost a thousand. That's uh, quite a bit of loot, but unfortunately not the loot that I really wanted. I do quite like this area of the Barbarian Outpost, and it is where I will make Born my new RuneScape name, which will be different from Faramal, because I won't be using mauls anymore when I'm PKing, I'll be using Warhammers, ideally. 
I like it a lot. I'll give you a hint. One of the words starts with A. I make a lot of my own stuff. I craft, you know. And there it is. War Artisan. Anyway, uh, back to the Blast Furnace. 96 strength. Just three levels to go until I've maxed out the strength in this account. And this was a long time coming because I had 95 strength for probably just about a year. And I just hit 10 million strength experience at the blast pump. And I have six cannonballs remaining. After killing all those shamans, it's time to rebuild, get about 10,000 cannonballs before I return to the shamans. Uh, right now, I do have to get more coal and iron, so that's my next task, just buying it from Ordan here. And there is the final batch of coal and iron. Time to make the steel bars. And that's a batch of 2,500 steel bars. Time to make 10,000 cannonballs. All right, finished making all the cannonballs. That's almost 10,000. Time for shamans. I saw the red text. And I made it so I only get red text for things worth like over a million GP. So <laughs> I thought this was the Warhammer. But it's just an untradeable. No. I'm very sad now. Yeah, I got all these hammers. But they're not the hammer I want. I see how it is, Jagex. I see. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. This account is going to be insane. Do I talk to this guy? Hello, soldier. Oh, 1186 shamans. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. Sorry, settled. I mean, he got it now, so he doesn't even care, but still. Well, I got a lot of loot out of that. I can make 37 rune crossbows with the runite ore here, and the alcohols come out to 3.1 mil. That definitely makes up for the cannonballs used, and I have plenty left. Oh my. I mean, I did not expect to get this hammer so quickly. It's amazing, bro. But I can probably alk these out of the Fountain of Rune very quickly. Well, with this Dragon Warhammer, I can't go PKing unless I have Amulets of Strength. So, time to make a whole batch and enchant them at the Fountain of Rune. Alright, I'm here with my Stoofs. This should get me about 3.1 million GP, as well as 13 Amulet of Strengths, and quite a few Rings of Dueling as well. Oh, I just realized, these Rune Warhammers, I'm gonna wanna use them for free-to-play PKing, so I'm glad I caught myself before I alked literally all of them. <laughs> Oh, that would have been bad. They will be lovely for uh, free-to-play PKing when the Warhammer update comes, so I should definitely save probably 10 or so? I'm not sure. In fact, I have enough money, I'll just I'll just keep them all. I'll just save them. They'll just stay in my bank. There we go. And that's the alchemy and enchantment done. Walking away with 2.1 mil, all my hammers still intact, and plenty of jewelry. But before I start anything, I do need the pool of restoration in my house before I start PKing, just cause, I mean, how else am I gonna recharge my Dragon Warhammer spec after slaying a noob with it? So yeah, let's get back to the construction grind, a long lost activity that I had been doing, but then got sidetracked with the shamans and we all know how that went. <laughs> and there's 61 construction, 62 construction, 63, 64, oh. All right, just gonna interrupt. I see how it is. Very rude. Why do I pay you so much? 65. Now I can build the restoration pool. Okay, now I need a thousand soul runes. Fortunately, my wizarding skills are top notch. I have 63 magic. With a wizard's mind bomb, I can boost to 66. Enter the wizard's guild and buy myself a thousand soul runes, which should be pretty expensive, but definitely worth it to have this pool made. You can't stop me. <laughs> All right, that's 900 more soul runes. I have 100 in the bank, so should be set. We have finally hit the 70 construction milestone, which means I can make the restoration pool and restore my energy every time I enter my house. <laughs> Let's build this thing. Does it literally just require 10 stamina poke? What? Oh my God, that is so easy. That is so easy. Quickly. Use as much run energy as I can. <laughs> okay, little house decorations are in order now. I think my portal's there, so if I turn it that way. No, actually, that's right. It should be right how it is. Excellent. Look at that. Full. Wait, what does this even do? Oh, I didn't upgrade it. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes! 
There we go. Beautiful. Now I have full run energy and it looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this now. My house is pimping out with the new construction levels. This is the ultimate PK house now, although I can build an altar. So yeah, I can do that. I can build an altar. Let's do that as well. It's been so long since I've needed one, but yeah, altars are awesome. I remember using them well before the pools came out. Now I have to build myself a chapel. Oh, actually, I think the last time I had this was on dead man mode. Good times, good times. I'm going to build a limestone altar. Not quite the marble, but this will do. This will do. Excellent. I'm 595 experience from 97 strength. Time to get that quickly. There it is. 97 strength. Just two levels to go. And yeah, that's about, what is that? 2.4 million strength experience left. 97. Beautiful level to hit. Still 44 combat and will remain that for a very long time. The next objective is to get 1,000 house tabs, karambwan sharks, and anglerfish. But we begin with the house tabs, and I need 1,000 soft clay in order to get that. I think I just need a few nuggets to buy these soft clay packs. Do these have like 100 each? So it's 1 to 10 ratio. That's actually really good, I think. Oh my gosh, I have 100 golden nuggets. Not too bad. Alright, let's see about this. Yep, alright, let's just spend it all. Spend it all, let's go. There we go. That's all sorted out now, and I have like 1,200 golden nuggets left in the bank. The teleports are low. I need more law runes in order to make these house tabs. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think that'll be enough law runes, though. Just about 3.5 thousand. That'll be plenty for the house tabs and portals in the future when I build them in my house. One gold leaf. I think I build a study for this one. Eagle lectern, that's it. Yeah. Excellent. I require soft clay, 26. The first house tabs to be made on the account. Beautiful. And yes, of course, I am training my magic here, but I'm gonna get 71 magic eventually on this account. So 30,000 magic experience from making a thousand house tabs really is not that big of a deal. It'll be okay. I will still unlock the mage book before I completely finish magic experience on this account though. 500 house tabs, halfway there. And it is done. Oh, it turns out I had one extra soft clay in the bank, but I'm just gonna stick with a thousand house teleports. Brilliant. In a massive stroke of luck, I have achieved the Dragon Warhammer on this account at just 69 range and 44 combat, all from scratch. The devastation I will yield on PvP worlds is coming. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, then like the video. You don't want to miss the next video, so make sure you have notifications on as well. I'll see you then. Yeah.